Welcome world. everybody. This is What's Real. I'm your host, Waylon Cooley. This segment was put together as an outlet for friends and the general audience to chat about concerns and opinions as they relate to the global situations and circumstances. We are not experts in any way of the medical or legal or religion or politics. And information is just truly just the opinion of us. And it doesn't, it doesn't reflect our businesses or any of our sponsors. So I just want to say something to y'all. You know what, y'all? I got a good friend of mine in the background right now, and I want to welcome Morocco Amari. He said this, the talent, actor, writer, director, acting coach, and you know, do I need to go on? Come on, come on, come on. But you know what? People might remember you from Empire or maybe 21 Bridges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, I want to say welcome to my brother, y'all. What's up, what's up? How you doing, man? Man, How life doing? You know, like I said, man, life is good, man. We, we, you know, we trying to get new things in, new things happening. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what we do, you know. But, you know, yeah. listen, Rock, I got to go back to this, man. Um, I remember when we first met, which was funny, man, in Chicago, a music video. Yeah. Um, which was, I think was Trish shooting. I was directing the video at the time. And you came in at the leading man. And yeah. um, I know we had a good friend in mind, which is Ice Gree. You know, how did Ice Gree convince you to do this, this video? And he was in Chicago, if I'm correct. He was working. Right. You know, um, I've been knowing him since, you know, the days of Jackson State. Okay. You know, and Trish, Trish is good people. Greg's good people. Um, and it came to me with the concept. And I said, all right, cool, man. You know, um, I was doing a play downtown Chicago at the time. Okay. And I said, as long as it doesn't interfere interfere with my performances, man, we can get out, you know. So that's, yeah. how, it, that's how it kicked off. Okay. You know? Yeah. I, 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 I'm surprised it didn't get in, in, uh, interfere with your performances because we did that. That video took forever that day. You know? <laughs> We had, yeah. do you remember the take we did like about 10 times? I don't know. It was a take when you're supposed to open the door and you change shirts like four or five right, times. Right, 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 right. Because it was uh, signifying like uh, uh, different days of the week or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Eight that was crazy, man. And then, and then we went and shot downtown, you know, at that night. So, I mean, brother, yeah. you, you was working on a play and you took out time to do a music video. Man, yeah. we, we appreciate you blessing your presence, you know, brother. You've been in the game. I'm saying that's that's an experienced actor, y'all. He just came in off the gate doing his thing. That's, you know, that's the hard work that you're you're supposed to put in. You know, you have to condition yourself to run a marathon. Um, so it's like if I give my word, then I'm gonna be true to my word. You know what I mean? So it's like, all right, I got this time. I'm gonna carve out this time for you guys, and this, you know, and uh, we're gonna knock it out. Yes, uh, I'm going to come and I'm going to be professional. But that's just how I was brought up in the game, you know, to be to be on time, to be professional and, and to work hard. No reason to complain once you because, you know, you know, once you're on a set, you know, it's going to be long hours. You can get there. So your call time is at at noon. You probably don't start shooting at 6 p.m. Wow. But, you know, you're like, all right, cool. You know, this is what I love doing. It's, it's you know, so, yeah. Well, listen, man, your love and passion speaks for itself. You know, quick question, too. Do you remember this part? It was a scene, I mean, while we while we there, still at the video uh, segment. Mm -hmm. you, you had a scene where you supposed to have been, she's supposed to have been feeding you chocolates. And we were about to do the scene, and you was like, nope, stop, right there. Listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> what was you was... Was it the chocolate or, or the nuts? It was one. I think it was, it was the nuts. I, I was allergic to nuts. But also, man, you know, it's just like, you know, on the chivalry side, let me feed my woman the chocolate. You know what I'm saying? That's, let that's me, that. You know what I'm saying? So right. visually, visually, uh, you know, yeah. but, you know keeping, keeping on the narrative of the alpha male and also being a gentleman. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right. See, that's that boss in him. See, that's that director actor in him, y'all. He he knew right then, and they said something wrong with this script. We need to change right. this round. Go, <laughs> go, <laughs> man. Listen, man. I know we can go on and on, man. Like I said, we go yeah. back, y'all. How many years, you know, 
you like been in the industry, you know, uh, acting, you know, you, you doing plays. You mm -hmm. know, just give a little brief history so people know you didn't just jump on the scene. Yeah. No, man, I did my um, first play when I came home from the Marine Corps uh, in 95, you know what I'm saying? Right. And then I was on TV, my first TV show was 97. So I've been in. I've been on TV for 23 years. I've been on stage for 25 years, man. Wow. So yeah, it's been it's been putting in that work, man. Year in, year out, you just keep walking forward. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, sure, everybody wants to move to LA and become Denzel or you know, <laughs> <laughs> The Rock and you know, right. or whoever the hot brother is, Will Smith or somebody. For but sure. you know we can count those brothers on one hand, one or two hands or sisters. Right. So it's a, uh, it's the journey. It's, you have to enjoy that ride. So that's what I've been doing. You know, you just getting better every year, learning the craft, continually working at the craft. Um, and just, uh, you know, and giving back. I've been teaching, you know, for the last few years, I teach as well. So, I mean, like, when you say teaching, are you teaching in the classroom? What do you, I mean? I mean, primarily I do, I'll do workshops. I've done workshops in about five different countries in Africa. Okay. Uh, now, what type of workshops are these? Like, these are acting and directing workshops. Uh, so, so now you say you, the acting, like, so you said out of the country, like, so I mean, like, give me a couple countries that you've been to. Now, we ain't talking about um, Florida, Bahama, but Florida now. <laughs> The, uh, the last workshop, I just taught one in December Okay. Uh, in Nigeria. Whoa. Uh, I was supposed to be in Cameroon right now teaching, but, you know, due to the yeah. virus, that had to be postponed. Okay. Uh, Nigerians are very uh, musical people. I have a, a friend in, uh, in Chicago who's a painter. He's Nigerian. His name is Adedayo Laoye. I was like, damn, that's a cool name. Like, I wanted that name to be my name. Like, that's, you know, a woman asks you, what's your name? My name is Adidayo Laoye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> Say my name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm talking about? So we're, you guys are very lyrical and musical people with your names and with the way you speak. And it's, it's a beautiful thing, you know. So use your words. So in every sentence... Anybody know what life words are? Life words. So I'm from Chicago originally. And in the wintertime, right now in Chicago, it's cold. So that word cold means cold. That's a life word. I gave life to that word. I gave life to that word. Mm. All right, cold. And we do it in normal conversation when we're talking. Like, yo, man, I was down at Moist on Sunday. Oh, the women were beautiful. You know, beautiful. It's beautiful, you know. I can't, I hate that motherfucker. Hate. You know what I'm saying? I love her. Love. I love her. So you use your life words. You can go through your script and circle these life words. Because sometimes we get the script and we'd be like, yeah, I'm from Chicago and it was cold. Saw this girl, she was beautiful. You know what I mean? We're flat. Because we get the words. Now, they're not our own words. So we have to make it conversational. Does that make sense? Yeah. Anybody got questions from that? All right. Okay. Uh, so I taught in I taught in Nigeria. I've taught in Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, and uh, Botswana. Wow! So, yeah, the next one will be Cameroon and probably Germany. Uh, okay. In Berlin. Wow. Um, but yeah, okay. just you know, giving wow. back, giving back to the acting, the artist community. Man, listen, bro, that's that's big. You know, I mean, that's a blessing. See, so, so then, when your talent has exceeded your own country, what I'm saying mm -hmm. is where you're traveling the world now, teaching, that just shows the next level of things that you're on. And I mean, like I said, working with you, I know this, but you know, the, 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 I'll just say this, smaller circles don't know this. They just see you in a couple of films and they just think, oh, okay, he's just not, no, you're doing work. Yeah. I, I, I commend you. And then you do a, uh, if I'm correct, what was it, uh, a couple months ago, you were in Chicago doing a, 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 a I don't know, was it or Yeah, I did, a, I did a, acting work, a two day acting workshop in Chicago. Okay, gotcha. Got gotcha, to, gotcha. I always got to come home and see moms. And I was like, well, 
you know, I was uh, approached to do a workshop since I was going to be here. So I said, sure, let's do it. Gotcha. You know, and I mean, I, I know uh, hopefully the, the actors get a lot out of it, but I may get more out of it because it feeds me and it, it reminds me of, you know, why I got into this business in the first place. Sure. And just seeing, okay. I love watching actors, actors and watch them figure out and readjust and, and get back. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, I, I enjoy the, the whole process of it, you know? Okay. So, I mean, what, what keeps you, um, you know, kept you focused over the years? That, that, where's the inspiration coming from? Is it just from the classes or, I mean, just to continue to act? Um, you know, when I grew up on the west side of Chicago, being broke, man, you want to be broke, you know, so, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, for real, you know, you just yeah. like, you find something you're good at and you go hard, man, and I, I, I found something that, you know, I thought or think that I'm good at, and I just went hard, man, and then, you know, the the discipline of the military just made me just focus, just hyper-focus. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's it's one of those things of, you know, you always have naysayers saying, you can't do that, or you can't do this, or you're not going to. So that also fuels you. You're just like, oh, okay, well, I'll show you. Right. You know, not that that's my main purpose, but, you know, when people say, you, okay, cool, well, then check this out, <laughs> you know. And I just stayed on it, and I'm a firm believer if, you know, if you train the mind, you could do whatever, you know. You, do, you condition your mind to say, hey, man, this is what I want. How do I go about getting it? And these are the steps that I need to take to get to my to the destination I want or this, this, this craft, you know. Because no one is like, oh, you know, we all start acting. We're not good. We're not you know, we, we have to learn to learn the craft, you know? <laughs> we have to learn it, man. You know, I was, you know, watching this documentary that Michael Jordan joined The Last Dance. He told the coach, he was like, no one's gonna work harder than me. You know, when he got cut, he was like, all right. Went to North Carolina, was like, no one's gonna work harder than me. Mm -hmm. And you know, just that work ethic, you just gotta keep putting in that work, putting in that work, putting in that work, putting in that work. And I mean, the, the beautiful thing about the workshop is just like, you know when actors put in the work. Right, right. The other thing is, you know when actors didn't put in the work. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> come on, man. You didn't, you didn't do your homework, but you're going to come in here and give me, a, you know, and, and basically, and the workshop also, on the business side, it's like, you know, these casting directors, they're bringing in the top talent into their rooms. So you have a group of casting directors in Chicago. They know all the top actors. So you can't come in there and try to BS them with some average audition, mm. you know, or they see that you're nervous, you know, you haven't done your work. So that's, that's another thing I teach as well. You have to be ready to walk in these rooms. Wow. I mean, dude, listen, I, I keep saying it over and over again. Your, your, your history, your knowledge, it speaks for itself. I mean, just like this. Is there certain things you do to get in character? I mean, because, hey, it got to be something for you to be able to teach this. I, I, you know, help a brother out because I need to get in character. The different yeah. characters require different types of homework. Okay. You know, um, I had to play a Jamaican dude, a Jamaican yardy from, who lived in England. And um, so I had to learn patois and all that. And I made him, you know, a tiger. I, you know, he was just like ready to pounce, always just watching you know, mm -hmm. and waiting. So it's just like the characters take on different animals too. They move differently, you know, and that's just about, you know, doing your homework. And the more specific you are at breaking a character down, the, the more the performance pops, you know? Oh, so it's, it's, yeah. it's one of those things. Okay. Because anybody can learn lines and show up and wow. say the line. Mm -hmm. you know? That's true. You're right. But you're right. what is your back? You, you you develop this backstory for your characters of why, you know, because like when they made me the the half brother of Lucius Lion, I was like, wait. At first, I was just a dude who grew up in the neighborhood. <laughs> then when they made it, right, and then like three episodes in, they were like, oh, he's gonna be the half brother. So I was like, oh, well, why am I coming after my half brother with such a vengeance, you know? So I had to make my own backstory. 
and be very specific of why I was coming after my 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 uh, my half brother, you wow. know, to make my performance uh, what it was. Dude, yeah, I mean, you know, you of course everybody know you played that role to a T. So I mean, and this is the thing, man. So now, I mean, I talk to you here and there, but. I think what it is too, you sell everybody. I think you have that intimidating voice too when you get into character. That, that I think that's another thing too <laughs> that that drives and you know makes you pop out. All the films that you're in, when you come on the set and we not only do you de deliver the lines, but then you deliver them with that voice. That comes like, 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 <laughs> and then laugh. That's another thing. That laugh, man. <laughs> so, dude, you 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 rocking it, man. You definitely yeah. rocking it. So now, okay. I, I get I get it now. How we get in the character a little bit better. So I'm gonna have to work on that. So I'm gonna come back to you on down the road. I'm gonna be in character. I'm gonna see if I can keep up with you. There you go, man. You know, I, man. I, <laughs> I love it, brother. I love it. So, is there any project that you're working on or up and coming projects that you know people can know about? Um, I have a film that I executive produce out of Uganda called The Girl in the Yellow Jumper. Do you know the expression, no good deed goes unpunished? I've heard of it. Okay, so would you say that me picking you up there was a good deed on my part? It was a very good thing and may the good Lord bless you very much for it. <laughs> Alright, let me tell you the story. in East Africa. Wow. So that, um, they were actually supposed to premiere last week, but because of the lockdown, of course, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna have to wait um, and, and, and premiere once, it's, um, once it opens up. Uh, as far as my, I have a, a show, a TV show I'm on called Pete Valley, that's scheduled to premiere on Stars. They say this summer, we'll see, but it takes place in the Delta, inside of a strip club, I handle money. I handle, you know, to make sure the bills, you know, trying to tie up loose ends right. and whatever else, uh, you know, okay. that needs to be done. But P Valley uh, produced, well, written and and uh, produced by Katori Hall. We'll see. Right, right. Yeah, brother. Listen, man, you you continue, you know, your success in the game, man. I mean, again, I commend you. I commend you for staying, sticking with your craft, your love, your passion, your dream, you know, because that takes a lot of courage. A lot of people give up. Like, you know, we talked at the beginning. There's so, there's so many actors that you count that, uh, you know, take it to the next level. And I mean, that's due to the commitment that people put in, going into it, knowing you're going to have these 20, 20, 20 hour days. Right. You know? And then sometimes you only on the scene, on the screen for what, 30 seconds. But Man. that, you know, and see people don't, like you said, people want this glitz and glamour lifestyle and don't realize yep. the work that has to go into it. I, I, we was talking about something, he needed some shots. His brother came out the Valpo from Chicago to the studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't know if you got lost or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah. Was like, yeah, I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, this ain't no joke, man. This is kind of far. <laughs> I was like, it ain't that far wrong. You like, man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 
is being all humble over there. Y'all follow Morocco Amari, y'all. Please, come on now. Stay up with him on social media from Facebook to Instagram. Good guy to know, you know. Also, to those that want to act, good acting coach, you know, you never know. Call him or, I mean, send him a message and he'll send it to his agent and then they'll work it all out. And you guys, mm -hmm. can, you never know. Have him in your studio teaching a course and he travels worldwide. He said it earlier. So I just wanted to put that out. Hey, well, listen, man. You keep laying low on the East Coast right now as we get through this thing, this pandemic. What's that situation that we're going through, my brother? Take care, stay focused, and God. Oh, man, appreciate it. You too, man. Be safe. All right. Thanks. All right, thank you. All right, y'all. Right, thank y'all for tuning in to What's Real.